how this started. Um, it started by artists meeting in different activities in the neighborhood, uh, the Washington Heights Inwood area, Dominican neighborhood of Manhattan. And uh, every time we went to an art exhibition, we always talk about the needs and what do we want to do to, uh, to do more projects and more relevant projects. One of the reasons, we have a mission. We, when we formed the group, we said, we're not going to work just for the sake of working. We need to have a structure defined. So we met, we run our meetings like if it's a, a master class, you know, or exchange of ideas, uh, mm -hmm. uh, initiative process, how can we do this and that, and what do we want to do? Mm -hmm. So we said, what do we want to do? Okay, we want, and we created a mission. We want to establish a new definition of what is a Dominican American. But we don't want it to be, this is what it is. We mm -hmm. want to pose questions about that mm -hmm. to ourselves and to the public. Okay, so how do we see this? How do we present this? So visual arts present different kind of questions than a study mm -hmm. or than a data collective uh, survey, you know. Another fact that, that made the graphics and graphica the, the meeting point of the whole group was not only the the fact that uh, it helps create a community of work and at the same time a body of work but what is produced at the same time is more than one piece so in this case for instance manifestaciones is a portfolio of 25 prints original prints of each artwork uh, pro plus the art proof the artist proof and the studio proof so that makes it more, more accessible to the whole community and it makes it possible to travel. That's why the show right now is in Washington DC and also in the Dominican Republic and, and in San Francisco. In San Francisco so three places at the same time. <laughs> That's only possible because it's Grafica. We wanted to create an educational component of it, panels, workshops, to link the students what happened in our neighborhood is that students, if you're a 14, 15 year old and you have talent, you don't know where that talent can go. Because in the community itself, there is not a lot of venues that are pointing to you that this is a career. Mm -hmm. So that's one of our goals, right? But then we don't want to stay in the neighborhood. So we went out, we show in another university in Manhattan, then we show in San Francisco, California. We presented in Los Angeles, California in a, in a conference of contemporary Latino art of the US. Mm -hmm. And now we have a show in Washington DC where we start a panel. And now it's in Santo Domingo in the Museo de Arte Moderno, sponsored by the American Embassy and the Smithsonian Institution, which is the biggest museum institution of the US. So we, by connecting people, we're creating the market mm -hmm. of Dominican art. At the same time, there's a need within our group. It's 12 of us, so we gotta see how that is gonna take shape. But there's a need to create an archive of information with, that has to do with not only the Dominican York art experience or artist experience of what Dominican artists or Dominican American artists have done in the United States, but within the, the not to try to cover too much within the, the graphical movement and, and graphics, uh, but also what has happened with the graphics and graphica in the Dominican Republic. Who has been the pioneer? Who's been doing what? And and we know there's a lot of good yes, graphic artists right. down there and, and and grabadores, but you know where's the information? Where is the the testament for that work? Where is the the, the archives? So there's a need, uh, and we are going to try again. Our function as as artists is to create art. But at the same time, we, we're going to try to get some yeah, time out and, that link. And, yeah. and try to, you know, in the little power that we might have to create a little bit of that.